Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Prisma. So today we are going to learn install and the configure Prisma node shares. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, let's go to the, let's create a directory, my directory Prisma demo. Let's go to that directory. <coughs> let's initiate our project with the npm init y. Okay, let's install globally the Prisma CLI. I think I should change the node also NVM use node 20 NVM use 20 I think <coughs> 20 I have okay let's go with installing the Prisma so I'm going to install the Prisma globally <coughs> this is done let's install the Prisma client before we have to initiate a project if we already Initiate that one now. Install the Prisma client. So let's install the Prisma client for the project. Okay, then we have to create the schema. <coughs> if you want to create this one, there is a command that npx Prisma in it. So we have to run, generate this command to create the schema Prisma. So you can see it is created. If I go and just open the code base over here, you can see what the databases they can provide Postgres, MySQL, SQL, SQL, SQL MongoDB, and the CockroachDB. So, all these databases they are going to provide. Let's open the code base. So, here we go with the code base, right? So, you can see that Prisma over here and the Prisma schema. Then we have an ENB also. So, you can see that the database URL you can put it over here, right? View, word wrap this. Okay, so here you can see that. You can use the env then they have a schema prisma so by default it uses the postgresql right i'm going to use the mysql right databases so here we go with this one so let's go and just add the mysql database over here so i'm going to use the mysql over here copy this and i'm going to use it over here <coughs> prisma so I'm, I'm not taking it from the env let's take it from the env also what wrap this let's make it like this okay mysql so my, this is a username so i think the sammy no 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 i think the admin is my username the password i think it will work okay localhost and here i need to add my db so let me go to my test db i think is there let me go and check that one so localhost php miner so admin it's login might be it's correct it's not working then I think it's to be root uh, test db we will put it up okay let's go to the <coughs> code and here i'm going to add my db let's change the credentials over here so it's gonna be root okay save this then go to the prisma so here we have the prisma data post so i'm going to use the mysql so let's copy this mysql mysql just write it down so here we go with adding the mysql over here mysql okay dot get it next we have to use the model so here we have to create the schema over here let's copy and add it over here schema so here we have to create the schema that is user and then the post okay we have the id name email and the post part right so this is a proper setup this is done then we have to use the npx prisma generate okay let's go to the terminal and let's copy this command okay so you can see that the prisma is generated with that one next we have to go with the migrate we have to generate the migrations also let's go and just add it over here <coughs> prisma so what they said that <coughs> the environment variables loaded from the env prisma this this mysql database this <coughs> for database string is invalid invalid port number <coughs> invalid port number really 306 is invalid how 
so let me add this uh, so I think it is on the th invalid code let me add it over here Three zero six. I think the why it's gonna be invalid port. I think it's running on that port. Just give me a second. <coughs> the provided database string is invalid. The invalid port number in the database URL. So there is MySQL root username. Password at the local host. So I need to cross verify. Let's move to the next. <coughs> okay, let's create this index.js file. So here we go with this one. So here go with this one. Create a file with index.js. So here we go with index.js. Okay, so let's add it over here the code this is basic code I will discuss each and everything okay so this is basic one find prisma prisma client we have added I think we have added the prisma client file command is if you call it es module okay <coughs> so this is done let's try to run this node index.js Prisma user invo invocation. Okay, so let's check this one by the database URL showing, showing the wrong. Let give me a second. So here you can see that now I have connected to the DB. Here you can see that the database connection is done. Migration file is created. Okay, so the issue is with the <coughs> that the string URL. So I have fixed that one. Okay, so this is done. The connection between that one your database schema database is now in sync with your schema right now okay and now we are going to run node index.js now you can see that when I run this one new user has been created let's go and check this one with the test db so here we have a test db we have the user and the post right so here you can see that the users if I go and check over here the user is created and the linking of that here you can see and then we have a post you can see that the post is also linked with that one but if we haven't added the post so the basic schema we have added right so that here you can see the user we have created but the model we have already created okay so whatever the schema we have provided over here name email and the post you can see that everything is over here in the user model right you can see name and the email right so this is the basically how you can install and configure the prisma after that we will discuss more in detail about the schema how we can build it about the how we are going to create update delete everything from the scratch so here in this tutorial what you come to know about that one that how to configure that one okay how to install how to configure each and every step so you make sure that should be you come to know about that one install and configure the prisma in the node shares any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day